Hi, my name is Yan Wang. I work as an engineer in Visionox. We are one of the leading uh, OLED manufacturers in the world, as well as micro LED manufacturers in the world. Uh, here I'm going to introduce a cool product. This is called OLED, uh, AMOLED rolling display. You can see that it has uh, uh, a base size of a phone, but the, uh, the screen is, uh, roll is rolled from the side. That means for the same uh, body uh, volume of a phone, you can have perhaps like a, a display as large as a tablet. That's the purpose of the future. It's ready for mass production? Uh, it will come like in the next year or two. Okay, let's walk around. Uh, we will come back to all your uh, OLED displays that you have right here. Uh, let's check right here. What do we see here? What do you see here is an OLED stretchable display. You know, compared to traditional curved displays such as football phones and the rollable uh, display you just saw, here you have a 3D cur curvature uh, where the OLED is attached to this 3D curvature. So uh, what you see here is like an angry cartoon face, but the purpose of it, you can have in any shapes, like for example, in cars and also in uh, kitchen appliances or uh, anything you want. Could, could the stretchability be actually flexible? Uh, for now, it's not, it's fixed, it's but fixed. I think it's possible. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go check out your big micro LED displays Whoa. over there. Okay. And then we come back to everything else that you have. So here, the Display Week 2025. Are you showing very special micro LED? So what do you see here is our 88-inch 4K TFT-based micro LED display. So it's constructed by uh, dozens of small panels with uh, no bezels. And um, what you see here, you can see the, uh, the brightness and the contrast is, is superb compared to traditional OLED and LCDs and all the other uh, mini displays. And we have some uh, new technologies here. Uh, first, you can see that uh, the blackness is very deep because we have some new uh, blackness uh, technology impl implemented to this. So you have uh, so in the dark images you see a very uniform black uh, background, and also we are using 25 minute uh, 25 micron chips, which is even th smaller than the uh, uh, human hair, and that's why uh, uh, we can make the, the displays uh, inside the uh, uh, each uh, emitting unit is very small compared to the pitch. This is a 4K. Yeah, this is full 4K. It's three uh, three six. 40 by 2160. Right. And also you see that we have some new technology developed this year. It can have a very uniform uh, uh, bright situation. So if it can come this way, even you can when you see like almost 180 degrees from the side, the image is very uniform. You don't see the, the tiles. Nice. And also They're very, very small. Uh, yeah. If you look the closer, the axis is actually a scene right now, between the tiles. Because it's dark, but, right? But uh, at a regular view, and this is for like a, a point, uh, 1.5 meter or 2 meters, like uh, where you have a TV and where this is a sofa. So you don't see any uh, seams. So it's a very whole uh, a uniform TV. When is uh, uh, Visionox going to ship this kind of displays? Uh, so uh, probably in the end of this year or next year. So we're going to be able to shape It's going to be mass production? Yes, we will be uh, shape crew products like this. Nice. Uh, good yields, hopefully affordable. Yeah, Not hopefully too, too, too affordable. Expensive. Yes. Less than $88,000, hopefully. Well, I cannot see that, but uh, okay. I'll let the market decide. OK, what do we see here? OK, so what we see here is our new product called the transparent micro LED display. So, uh, so in, in the inside, it's an Asian Chinese uh, relic. So it, it display, uh, So this proper situation is where we picture that we can have it in the museum. So we have uh, the thing we want to show in, in, a, in a glass container and on the front or maybe on the side, we're gonna have micro LED transparent displays showing information of this product or uh, uh, additional information for, for this uh, showing experience. It'd be nice if uh, somehow this could run without bezels and yeah. just be a glass box. That's, that sounds very cool. So in the future, I think it's possible. All right. So what do you want to show at the booth? So if you come this way, we're going to have some cool car displays. 
So what do you see here? Ah, so what? Sorry. Yeah. So what do you see here? This is like a, a what do we picture the application in a, in a car? You know, like in uh, cars, like um, there are two kind of group people. One uh, group of people, in, uh, they, they like physical buttons, like uh, buttons they can push. But some other people like like uh, touch uh, interactions, like they have a giant screen and every, everything can be touched. This is a combination of both. Yeah. So having a large screen while you can have a dial that is interacting with the, with the display. So this, hopefully, they can sati satisfy both people. And yes, what uh, do you see here is um, possibly an application for a shotgun seat. Uh, the, uh, so the driver don't see the yeah, payment. So, uh, this has a privacy uh, coating on top so that when the, passion, the shotgun seat uh, uh, passenger is enjoying like entertainment, like uh, movies, and so the driving seat is not uh, affected by the, the light from emitting from here. Nice. And it's a lot of uh, automotive displays here? Yeah. All right. You see, like this. Dual screen with a flexible AMOLED solution. Yeah. It's and this is like a curved car uh, display where uh, we have a, a thin glass protection on the top, but somehow we thinned the, curvi the curved area such that it can bend to a, a radius curvature we want. Nice. Okay. okay. Which one do you want to show next? Uh, okay, here I see a metal oxide driver. This is, an, I'm not an expert on this, but this is uh, supposed to be the, the new generation of uh, AM driving. So, you know, like uh, each uh, pixel is really driven by a thin film transistor we call a TFT. But this one is the next generation metal oxide driver. So the advantage of this is uh, compared to traditional TFT uh, backplane, this can tune in the refresh rate. Like, uh, for example, you can have maybe 10 refresh rates per second, uh, up to a high like 100 or 200 refresh rates per second. So uh, this is uh, tunable for uh, different scenarios. Nice. Let's walk, uh, let's walk in the front of your booth. Um, what is a VIP? Uh, this is uh, Visionox Intelligent Pixelization. This is our trademark technology. You know, like in traditional uh, OLED manufacturing, they're gonna have FMM, which stands for fine metal mask. So each mask costs a lot to fabricate. And this way, we eliminate the process of FMM, but using VIP, we can dramatically lower the cost of OLED fabrication and make it uh, accessible to uh, newer uh, customers. Uh, it sounds a little bit like you're giving the VIP VIP experience to more people. Yes, because it's, because it's lower to fabricate, and maybe a small company uh, they have a small series of products that they can afford this. Nice, and they just get the suitcase included. Uh, no. No. When when they sh when they ship uh, in large environment, we'll have dozens of suitcases for them. <laughs> All right, and here's some other VIP. Yeah, this is like in in watch formats. So watch this is uh, the smart watch's face. All right, and this one? Uh, this is a uh, cell phone, cell phone size. You can see the color is uh, almost as good, is as good as the traditional uh, fabricated OLED. Yeah, and uh, let's walk around here. Uh, tablets, laptops? Yeah, uh, I want to show you uh, okay. like over here. You see, this is like a cool curved, a curved surface where we can have a wooden uh, surface on top. So this can be implemented, implemented to like uh, your like a furniture or like uh, speakers or uh, perhaps in cars. Where, with touch? Uh, for this one, it's not, but I think it's possible. So when the display is off, you're gonna see a very high-end wooden structure surface as a Cool. Uh, so you would be entering the password on there? Yeah, this is like for phones. But if you imagine a car, so you're going to have like a wooden surface uh, maybe on the door. And suddenly the, the LED will be, uh, be, be light. 
and then you can interact with, with, with the door or with any parts of the car. Here's a little circle display. Uh, Round display right here. All right, smart speaker. Yeah. Uh, video game machines. Yeah. You got like uh, if you are a Switch owner, you know like the the the, gen the newer generation of the Switch, Switch One. It Switch Two comes two. with. Uh, Switch will come with uh, the LCD. AMOLED, the ver OLED version. Uh, hopefully, OLED. Uh, OLED can come to Switch Two uh, later. All right. This touch control integrated. Yeah, I think you can have a stylus that you can write. What do we see uh, here? This is like a, a very high PPI solution aimed for uh, like a AR VR glasses, but I don't know if your camera can, 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 can take the picture of it. So we have two eyes showing a slightly different picture. So when you wear this, you can have like a parallax effect where you have nice. two slightly different pictures to your left and right eye. And in your brain, you see a 3D picture. Nice, so 3D effect yes. on a VR. Oh, let's go right here. Okay. What do we see over there? Let's have a look. So some of the latest uh, mobile displays. Yeah, this is some uh, new uh, material uh, advancement. You see the PTSF. Um, which is uh, like a new material technology that can make the uh, screen more vivid and the color uh, gamut is, is more beautiful. Nice. PTSF. Yes. It's a very complicated chemistry name that I will not mention. There's another PTSF. Yes. Wide color gamut. So to like uh, uh, us users, you're going to see more uh, greener greens and bluer blues and then redder reds. All right. Okay, let's go right here. This is the world's first low reflectivity COE flexible AMOLED technology. So less reflectance, 5%. Yes. 1.4%. So that means like when you use this in outdoors, your screen won't show like a, a reflection of the sunlight or maybe the, the, the lighting. Nice. World's first LTPS, 20 hertz. So for low refresh rates, like a 20 hertz uh, mobile phone. So the regular refresh rate for a phone is like 60 or 90 or 120 hertz. Like, uh, but when you have applications like uh, always on display, like in the new iPhones, so you don't you only see like a time on the on the front. And in that case, you don't you don't need very high refresh rates uh, in that situation. So a low refresh rate will be, or in a way, like adjustable ref refresh rate. Is, is very suitable for applications like that. Nice. Here's another world's first. It's full of world's first at your booth. Yeah. Uh, pad bending R0.1 radius or flexible AMOLED technology. Yeah. That means like uh, for a, a display on the, on the side, you're going to have some pads. Uh, so you want to curve to the back where you don't see them. So R0.1 means that you can have very thin bezels on the, on the, on the side. So you have a very high uh, screen-to-body ratio. And this one, equal depth, quad-curved, flexible AMOLED technology. If you like, take a closer look on the four edges, you can see they are slightly curved to give like a, like a very like premium uh, looking. Nice, just an edge. All right, and we saw this one. Yep. So it's a great show for you. Yeah, this is a great show to show the latest displays. Yes, and uh, we welcome like all the viewers to come to our booth.